Hi, I'm Kelsey, and today we are going to be going over how to unlock the Dark Ranger customization. For your viewing pleasure, here is my depiction of Neferoth from Moonguard. Subscribe and comment below and remember to leave your character name and server. If your comment stands out, you just may find yourself in my next video. I'm a small time content creator. At the time of recreating this video, I have 70 subscribers on my goal to 100. Thank you all for your support. Let's get into it. Dark Ranger customization and return to Lordaeron achievement and quest line. Patch 9.2.5 has added a new quest line and achievement, asking players to return to Lordaeron to explore the after effects of Sylvanas' departure at the end of the fourth war. In Wowhead's guide, they go over the requirements for the achievement, a quick glance at its quest line, and the unique Dark Ranger customizations rewarded by it, and we will be reviewing that today. Return to Lordaeron achievement requirements. The Return to Lordaeron is very straightforward, requiring completing a simple quest chain offered by Gen Grey Main for the Alliance or Kalia Minithil for the Horde in the Orbos Enclave. Although all players can do the quest line and the achievement is account wide, be aware that one of the rewards requires that a hunter actually complete the quest line rather than just having the achievement unlocked. So if you only intend to do this quest once, consider doing so on a hunter. You need to complete the achievement on your hunter to get the armor set. Once you learn it, it's across all of your characters. However, I've read somewhere that the armor set needs to be level 48 before you can transmog into it. Return to Lordaeron's story. The quest line starts by speaking to either Gen Greymane or Kalia Menethil in the Orbas Enclave, who will direct you to return to the ruins of Lordaeron to either assist or spy on the Forsaken gathering there, depending on your faction. As the chain continues, you'll see the Forsaken begin rebuilding the shattered town of Brill and meet familiar faces such as Dark Ranger Villanara and Lillian Boss. Assisting Kalia Menethil in her efforts to prove her worth to the people of her former kingdom, you'll enlist help from the Plague Masters of Maldraxxus and restore the surface of Tirasfall Glades and the Undercity, freeing it from the terrible blight that Sylvanas unleashed during the Battle for Lordaeron. You will need to complete the following quests to complete the quest line. I'll have them on the side here for you. Return to Lordaeron Achievement Rewards. Upon returning back to either Gen Greymane or Kalia Menethil and completing the quest line, you will unlock the Dark Ranger character customization options and, if the quests were complete on a hunter, the ability to purchase the Ensemble Dark Rangers attire. The Dark Ranger customization eye and skin tones. Completing the quest unlocks the Dark Ranger character customizations. Unique red eyes and pallid skin tones usable on Blood Elf, Void Elf, or Night Elf characters. Despite being themed as Dark Rangers, these customizations are also usable on any class except Death Knights and Demon Hunters. Ensemble Dark Rangers attire. The Dark Ranger's attire is a special reward available only to hunters who complete the achievement questline, identical to the armor that Sylvanas' own Dark Ranger NPCs wear throughout the game. Although unlocked by completing the achievement questline specifically on a hunter character, the ensemble is actually purchased from Outfitter Reynolds at the True Shot Lodge, Legion Class Hall, for 1,000 gold. While the Dark Ranger customizations are only usable by Blood, Void, and Night Elf races, the attire can be worn by any hunter. I hope this guide was helpful. I really did enjoy drawing this Dark Ranger character. I was super excited about how the perspective came out. I hope you guys like it too. Thank you all for your support. And remember, in a world where you can be anything, be kind.